this is my passion. This is Ike's Outdoors. Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today's video, I'm going to talk to you about refurbishing your tree stand. Um, I've got a tree stand here. This is a cheaply made tree stand to begin with, but it's been a pretty good one. I've had it for several years, and um, most of that time it's been out in the woods. So, we're going to talk to you about refurbishing this thing. Uh, of course, the first thing to go is a seat. Uh, of course, the squirrels eat those things, and uh, they disappear pretty quick. You can pick up aftermarket seats at just about anywhere where sporting goods are sold, Walmart, um, stuff like that. I got this one from a ladder stand that I just kind of carried it around with me, and then when I need it, I've got it. So, I'm going to pop that off of there. But uh, the first thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about replacing is the... Uh, straps on this thing shoulder straps which I've got on here I added on here are still in fairly good shape they're getting a little bit dry rotted but they're just shoulder straps so no big deal um, this strap right here is what holds this thing to the tree and I actually end up using two of them but I've only got one on here right now and this thing is getting dry rotted and it's getting nasty and I'm gonna show you what I do with them because I don't want this thing holding anything I take the old knife and that's the end of that strap so I'm never gonna pick it up I'm never gonna mistake it for anything if I happen to not throw it away for some weird reason it ain't got a hook on the end of it so I cannot use this strap for nothing I don't want to get out there be 25 foot off the ground and make a mistake and this thing cost me my my life or cost me a major injury so rather than just pull it off toss it in a corner and hope it makes it to the trash one of these days I know me I know how I am Eventually, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. So that's out of the way. It's out of the question. It's done. So now we got our tree stand here, and uh, I'm gonna hold this thing up. Lots of nuts and bolts on this thing, and we've also got some cable on here. Well, this cable's covered. This is braided steel cable, and it's covered in plastic. It's not gonna ever go bad. But we've got some nuts and bolts down here that are rusted and the washers on them have gotten dry rotted you know they're, they're a nylon washer uh, plastic washer whatever you want to call it they've gotten dry rotted and in the process this stands got to where it's making a little bit of noise so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop every one of these bolts off I'm gonna change the um, nylon washer on here and I'm gonna coat these bolts with a little bit of uh, white lithium grease so we'll get right to that and show you how to do that and like I said, I'm going to take every bolt off here, even these ones up on the seat. But I'm not going to show you all that. Basically, I'm going to take one of these off here, and I'm going to show you that. And then uh, I'll do the others off camera. Okay, right, take this apart. You're just going to need a couple wrenches, socket wrenches, whatever. And, of course, minor metric, because nothing can be standard these days. But just like that, pretty easy to pop apart. Well, this one's got the cable on it, so we're going to pull that apart. You can see our washer is really dried out, really nasty, really fragile. I mean, not nothing like they should be, not nice and supple. And you can see, of course, our bolt is all rusted up. It's been out in the rain, it's been out in the snow for a couple years. So it's all rusted up. So, for the bolt, I'm not going to use WD-40, I'm not going to use anything like that I'm gonna use white lithium grease and if you're concerned with smell one this smell is less than two it's gonna be quite a while before we're back out in the woods it's, it's January you know hunting season's just over and that's why I'm doing this now so I'm gonna take a liberal amount of this stuff and I'm gonna put on there and you probably don't need this much but hey if a little is good more is probably better right so I'm gonna take some uh, just nylon washers that we got down at Lowe's. Put that down. I can open these up. And we're going to take one of these nylon washers. We're going to insert this right here. And this is where this excess grease comes in handy. We'll put that in there. We've got that nice and greased up. And then up against the metal is where our nylon washer is going to go. So we're going to go right there with that. All that excess stuff. Any of this excess nylon or uh, white lithium grease, we'll put right up against that. Try to keep that 
nice and noise free. So, we'll put that back together. And we got our white lithium grease on there. I'm actually going to put a little bit more on there. A good, generous amount of that stuff. It's going to be out in the woods for a couple years, probably. So, get our nut. Put that thing back together. Good and tight. And then we're going to do this to every other bolt on this tree stand. Like that, nice and snug on your cable. Make sure your cable can move. Cable can move underneath there. There we go. Now I'm going to do the rest of it. All right, so I went through every bolt on here. It's got a new rubber washer or a new, not rubber, a new nylon plastic washer underneath it. Everywhere where it's metal to metal and got moving parts, it's got one underneath it. They've all been greased and really, my greased, I mean, I really, really greased them. I got this stuff all over me. The thing is, you know, you got excess of grease on here, but this tree stand set out in the woods for two years before this. So it's probably going to set out in the woods for quite a while. I mean, it's, uh, it's nine times out of ten, I go out and pull the seats out of them if it's in a good spot. Leave the stand up. You know, as long as my straps are in good shape, which I found another use for that strap to hang your stand up while you're painting it. As long as my straps are in good shape I'll leave, and it's in a good spot, I'll leave the tree stand up. This one was getting kind of noisy and, and needed to be gone through. It's getting kind of rusted out. So we went through, greased all of these just to protect them. I mean, that's one, we want it to be able to loosen them things up, but the grease on there is just going to protect it. Nylon washers in there to make it a little bit quieter. Grease is going to make it a little bit quieter. That white lithium grease doesn't have a lot of scent to it either. So, uh, and like I said, we're doing this in January. And once I'm done here, this is going to get all folded up, go in my shop. It's not going to be exposed to the weather. Then I'll put it out in, in uh, August, something like that. So hopefully the scent's not going to be a big deal. But the other problem we've got here is it's starting to rust. You can see we've got a nice gray tree stand here. So I've got some cheap Krylon spray paint and some just stuff that I had around here for painting different stuff. I've got some black and just a little bit of brown. And this is a paint and primer in one. This is just cheap Krylon spray paint. So. I'm just going to go through and anywhere where it's rusted, I'm just going to paint this thing up and add a little bit of camouflage to it and protect it as well. I'm hanging it up and make it a little bit easier to get to and make it a little bit easier to see all those areas that are rusted. Really looking for anywhere that's got rust on it. That's where I'm gonna wanna hit. Anywhere that's got rust on it. So it does with that brown. Take a little bit of black and I'm gonna just lift this thing up. And this is where there's gonna be a lot of rust underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but right here along this edge, there's a lot of rust right there. Woo. I'm not a painter either, so you don't have to have a high degree of skill to paint a tree stand. And it's a dang good thing. So, anywhere on there that's got rust on it, we're just painting it. Just some kind of matte color, you know, you don't want anything glossy. Just blacks, grays, browns. Just cover all that rusty stuff up. Anywhere where you got rust, just hit with those colors and it'll protect it. Okay, so there you go. You know, that's the basic idea behind this thing. All the moving parts are greased. They've got new washers behind them, so they're gonna be nice and good and quiet. Uh, everything that's rusted, just paint it over the top of it to get it good, a good paint on it. Uh, the one thing, that I really, really watch every year. And when I go back and check this thing, say I set to leave this tree stand in the tree for a couple years or over a season. When I go back to this tree stand, the first thing I check is that strap that holds this thing in the tree. I mean, I'll pull the, loosen the tree stand up and feel it. And if it feels dry rotted, you know, it feels like it's getting bad, 
I'll replace it. So that one right there that I took off here, cut the end of it off. No chance of me reusing it. I'm going to buy a brand new one on there. I'm going to buy a good one, and I'm going to spend the money to buy a good, heavy-duty, quality-built one. And if it, if it costs you a little bit more money for that big, heavy-duty one, the quality one, man, spend it. Because you're talking, you're sitting off the ground 20, 25 feet, and a fall like that can kill you. So um, spend the money and get a good quality strap for it. I strap mine on the top and I strap mine on the bottom. So I'm going to end up spending 30, 35 bucks for straps for this thing. But I know when I go out there that I'm safe and that I'm not going to, that hopefully the tree stand doesn't fall out from underneath me. So there's some tips for fixing up your tree stand. Really easy to do and in the long run, it didn't cost me a can of paint, 97 cents. So, and those washers were a couple bucks. So, I mean, just a little bit of time. A little bit of money, you're talking less than five bucks probably for the whole, th whole thing, and you can have a tree stand completely refurbished and just like new. So for more information or more product reviews, how-to videos, uh, check out our website, ixatdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.